All right, gang, welcome back to Flint Hill Catfishing. This is Brian, we're here with my buddy Dean Lawson, and we're trying to get some cats down here on the bank of the Catawba today. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas with your family, and it uh, looks like we're getting a bite already, so that's a good thing. It looks like a good start. Did he come off, or are you good? Uh, he's on. All right, well, that's a good way to start it off. Stick with us, we'll see if we can get him on the bank. Yep. I would muscle him until you get him with there's brand, an evil over brand there. Brand new reel first cast. Uh-huh. So breaking in the new reel. <clears throat> How about it? <clears throat> Been around, around. Hey little boy, huh? Yeah. Well he's going on the stringer because I'm gonna eat him later. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the baits in for about five minutes, I guess, and got onto this guy, so. Anyway, a little dink. That'll make a good fillet. <clears throat> All right. Get him off he there. didn't even mess around when he found it. He got it. Oh, yeah. with it. He was hooked good, too. There's Dino, fish number one. Little dink. Brand new reel. Brand new line. Everything. First cast. Yep. That's it. You done broke it in now. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to stick this guy on the stringer, I think. And he's going to get eaten. It's like that guard grabbed on top. Yeah. Here's what happened. Yeah. That's what it happened. Yeah. Wasn't it? It was. This on. That bugger didn't bite her nothing. He just picked it up and left him. That little one again, though. We've been getting the little ones today, ain't we? That's all right. That little dink. Look at it. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, it's action, buddy. That fish took that, that uh, big old piece of shad, D. Hmm. You saw how big that piece of shad was. Let's see if he'd give me my bait back now. Yeah. Look right here, act like he's gonna do something. No, this one's on that big perch head, D. Hmm? That thing ain't that perch head. Well, gang, as I was saying earlier, Merry Christmas. We got bit about the time I started doing the intro. But it's good to be getting the video back out. So I uh, hope you guys are doing good. I hope you had a great Christmas. And uh, stick around, man. We're going to stay here for three, four hours, see if we can uh, catch some big fish moving through this area. Right now, we got two dinks, uh, which I, I kept both of them. They're around six, seven pounds, probably. I'm going to use those to fillet up and cook when I get home. Anyway, hang with us. We'll see if we can get one on the bank here. Had a little jolt on that one, didn't he? Yeah, he's going to get it. That's it. That's the fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Well, gang, it's been a slow day. We got three dinks all of which I put on a stringer, and I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be frying them up when I get home. But uh, I don't know, we're gonna stay a while longer and see if some fish travel through this area, but kind of unexpected. We thought we were gonna get bit pretty good today, but that's how it goes sometimes, so. <clears throat> anyway, hang in there. We'll see if we can get something done before we roll out. Y'all ain't gonna lie, I look pretty gnarly and smell pretty gnarly to be going up in a store right now. But I gotta get what I need to cook these catfish up, so. I'm just gonna have to turn a couple heads with my catfish aroma. All right, folks, I got what I need. Pretty well stunk everybody out of the store. Smell like cut bait, shad and perch, whatever. I'm getting ready to eat good. All right, gang. Well, 
I'm gonna clean some catfish up. I'm not an expert uh, fillet master with the knife, but I know my way around enough to fillet up some catfish. So hang with me, we'll see what we can do here. All right, so I'm sure lots of people got lots of different fryers. Um, I asked for one for Christmas and I got a Hamilton Beach deep fryer. Professional style, we'll see. Well, I'm gonna try it out. So uh, hang in here, we're gonna unbox this bad boy, plug it in, put some oil in it, make sure it's cleaned up and we're gonna fry some catfish. All right, so I got the oil heating up. I can already feel it getting warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my breading ready and everything for the catfish. So let's do that. All right, dumped them in the panko crumbs once. Now I'm gonna bread them up in the seafood mix. Give them a good tumble in there. All right, so we got it frying up. I said, ain't nothing fancy. I'm in a hurry, so I'm not doing this like uh, Gordon Ramsay. Um, I'm trying to get her done. I'm hungry. So, cook it up some catfish fillets. Got a few golden brown hush puppies here. So, nothing wrong with that. Good stuff. All right, they're getting down to golden brown status here. Soak up a little bit of the grease here. And they come out. Look at that. Look at that right there. Fried catfish, baby. Oh yeah, cooked just right, I believe. We're gonna try it out here in a minute, though. What do you think, baby? Mm -hmm. Edible? It's delicious. Thanks, Now, if you would have saw the bleeding catfish over there, that was cutting up, you might not want to eat it, but. Tartar sauce. Oh. It's really good. No. Taste test from 16 year old son. Oh, wow. It's pretty good, isn't it? Mm. That is magnificent. Good, thanks. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can I have a hush puppy too? Definitely a win on that. So yo, ain't much to it. Like I said, I'm not a chef. I can cook okay sometimes if I really put my mind to it, but when I'm hungry and I have to cook, I just kind of throw it together and kick butt. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thumb me a like and subscribe. If uh, you like what you saw today, hit that notifications bell if you want to get notified when I upload videos. Also again, I hope you guys had a great Christmas and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.